This morning I want to talk about one of my favorite folding knives, the Frenzy. It's got an awesome five and a half inch long blade. It's Kappa Tawari style, or based after the Japanese helmet breaker, which has a hook at the base of the blade to pry with, but it has this sloping point that just offers tremendous penetration. What I think really happens here is when this point makes contact, the back of the blade, as it's pushed in, forces that blade in. So that pressure here just keeps pushing that blade further and further and further through the target. And this particular knife, this Frenzy, has got a needle point that the slightest pressure, and I can feel that prick my skin. It's truly a needle, needle sharp point, but it's relatively sturdy. Not as sturdy as a tanta point, obviously, but for such a narrow, super sharp point, it's pretty darn sturdy. The blade is made out of S35VN steel, and it's got this awesome finish. Have the camera come in there, and you can see the line grain finish with the fuller in there, and the contrasting high, sat high satin polish finish. It really looks sharp. And it's got about a half inch, maybe a little bit more than that wide blade bevel from top to bottom. That's really sharp. It's actually cutting into my skin, which is why I'm moving so gingerly. But it really is razor sharp. And they all come like this. They all come that sharp. And it's just as sharp here as it is here. So you've got a razor sharp and really a razor sharp edge with a needle point five and a half inches long. The whole knife is fairly narrow and long. It's got the same overall length as a five and a half inch Voyager. So about the same overall length, but when you overlay them, you can see that this knife is much smaller. The Frenzy doesn't take up near as much room in your pocket as a five and a half inch Vaquero. And also there's a big difference in weight. This weighs 5.7 ounces, this weighs about 7 ounces. So considerable difference in weight and also thickness. The Vaquero is slightly thicker than the Frenzy. Well, maybe more than slightly thicker because this Frenzy is so thin, it's just under half an inch thick. That's thin. Just under half an inch. Really thin. It's got this beautiful two-tone G10 handle. I think the blue is my favorite of all of them. It's when we 3D machine this handle, it brings out the black and the blue with gorgeous contrast. And I want you to note that it feels good in your hands because all these edges are well-rounded. So these grooves we, gr we, we cut out here give really good purchase for your fingers. My fingers go right in there and get an excellent grip. And it's got enough of an integral guard here at the front to keep your hands from going forward. And it's got a second cut out here for your index finger. So you've got a high grip and a low grip. But this grip's long enough to accommodate anybody's fingers. And because the handle is long and the blade's long, when I get this knife and the hammer grip, for me personally, I get almost nine inches of reach. So that's a lot of reach with this knife. A lot of reach. The trial lock on this knife, we just tested it. It held over 200 pounds or about 840 inch pounds of torque. We measured it 4.2 inches from the pivot point. And we do that, I always measure about four inches from the pivot point because that's the width of most people's hands is about four inches. So we put it at the worst case where your hand would never be able to put all that pressure, but it'd be the worst case scenario. So we put the leverage point right here that we test with. And it passes all of our tests for shock and overstrike as well. It takes the saber grip, the quarter saber grip, 
and the reverse grip. It's awesome in the reverse grip as well. You can use it in the push dagger grip. And I'll come back to again, the reach with this knife is just superb. For 5.7 ounces, you get tremendous reach. The reach of a much bigger fixed blade. It's a lot of knife for the money. The retail price on this knife is $239.99. And that's really inexpensive. I don't think any competitor has a knife with a 5.5 inch blade out of S35VN with a two-tone G10 handle that even can begin to compare to the value the Frenzy offers. The balance point is right here, just behind the pivot pin, about three-eighths of an inch behind it. See that? In my hand, it feels light as a feather. It's so facile, so easily moved and manipulated. It's like nothing. This is a knife, a really formidable knife that you can carry all day long in light slacks. Uh, you can carry it obviously in jeans, but it's lightweight for such a big knife makes it possible to carry this knife when you would avoid, avoid it with a heavier blade. So you get a really big knife for very little weight, tremendous cutting and piercing power for a very, very reasonable price. It comes in three colors. So I mentioned blue, black, and then it's got OD green and black, and then it comes in gray and black. It's ambidextrous. You can wear the clip on either side. Got thumb studs, so you could open it really easily. It's just a terrific, terrific value for the money. The Frenzy. One of my favorite folding eyes.